All right, guys, we're back today. Today we got Evan with us because he is a Golden State Warriors fan, just like me and Ashton. And so, as you guys probably can tell from the thumbnail and the title, this video is going to be about the Warriors. And so, we're going to start off by recapping what free agency has looked like so far for the Warriors. And, um, and then we're going to get to go to what I think will happen or what I hope will happen. We'll do a little bit of both. So, right now, the first thing that started in free agency, everybody was talking about what's going to happen with Clay Thompson. You know about that, Evan, right? What was going to happen with Clay Thompson? And so, what ended up happening to Clay Thompson was, look right there, what happened to Clay Thompson? Mavericks had agreed to a sign and trade deal around Clay Thompson. Mm-hmm. So the Warriors did a signing trade with the Mavericks for Clay Thompson. So what did the Warriors get a, get back from the Clay trade? The, they got two second round picks. In exchange for the four time NBA champion. And so those two second round picks have helped the Warriors get two other players. We're about to tell you that in just a second. But what what this is about this Clay trade is Clay was a big amount of money that the Warriors didn't want to have to pay. And they offered him a contract which was better than the Mavericks contract that he got, but with the state income tax. And I think that he was just mad thinking about having to play on the bench next season um, behind pods. So he decided that he was going to go ahead and pack his stuff up and get out. So next up, we're going to talk about Chris Paul. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> Chris Paul. CP3. Mm -hmm. So Chris Paul was traded to the Warriors last year um, for um, Jordan Poole. So Chris Paul got traded to the Wizards for Bradley Bill. And then the Wizards traded Chris Paul to the to the to the Warriors for Jordan Poole. And then we seen what Jordan Poole did this year. So Bradley Bill went to the Suns. The Suns got Chris Bradley Paul. Bradley Bill? Mm-hmm. Who's that? Oh, player. Bradley Bill went to the Suns. The Wizards got Chris Paul. Then the Wizards traded Chris Paul to the Warriors and got Jordan Poole. Oh. That's how we got Wait, Chris that, Paul. But wasn't Chris Paul in the Suns? Yes, he got traded. Oh, from the Suns. Yeah, from the Suns. I'm trying to find this contract right here real quick. So, okay, so Chris Paul signed a one-year deal with the Spurs for $11 million. So that's going to help out. He will probably end up starting in San Antonio with Wimby. So he will be a good guard that can facilitate the ball to Wimby, throw lobs, pass the ball, good. You know who Wimby is, right, at least? <laughs> yeah. You know how good Wimby is, right? Uh, no. He's great. Uh, yeah, no, he's tall. He's 7'4". Can shoot the ball, get to the rack. Throw lobs to himself. He's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, he, Chris Paul got traded to the Spurs? He didn't get traded, but the Warriors declined his player option, and he went to the Spurs. That's what I just talked about. So he's not on the Warriors anymore. He's on the Spurs. Yeah, it just went down. Like, if, you'd, if you would keep track with this channel, I mean, it's kind of on there. You know what I'm saying? All right, so next up. The, well. Hmm. Hold up. I'm, Kylie Jenner. No. <laughs> I'm trying to find. Clay Thompson? No. Mm. Kyle Anderson. Don't tell them who I'm trying to find. Wow. So. Kyle Anderson signed a $27 million contract with the Warriors via sign-and-trade. So, Golden State 
sent a second round pick swap and cash in the signing trade. So more than likely, I'm not sure if it's the exact pick, but I'm thinking that's the same pick they got back from the tra or clay trade, which is even if they didn't, they still got the picks from the clay trade. So they're getting rid of those second round picks for players. And that's what I told my, my dad and my brother. I was like, that's why the Warriors traded him for second round picks. They got two second round picks out of that trade. And so we're about to find out what they did with the other second round pick right here in a second. But Kyle Anderson is a good forward, can get down the court. He can defend pretty good. He had a very funny moment against um, Kyrie Irving in the Western Conference Finals. Did you happen to catch that moment? No. Where they kept playing after the whistles ended? No. Yeah, but – so it was pretty funny. But next up, we're going to go right here to another player the Warriors got for a second-round pick. So now Clay Thompson's with uh, the Mavericks. What was his name? Luca and Kyrie. Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I covered on this trade late yesterday. I didn't even know what happened. It happened like during the night, the other morning, and then I covered on it at like five o'clock the next day because that's when I found out. You were up at five o'clock. No, like. I'm talking about oh. like 5 p.m. Oh. Yeah, it was weird. Let's see here if I can get back. So the Golden State Warriors um, acquired Buddy Hill through a signing trade. He's a great three-point shooter that can shoot next to Steph. He can be another splash bro. Um, He's not exactly Clay Thompson, but he can defend the ball too. You get down the floor. Um, the Warriors are sending the Mavericks second round pick that they got to get Buddy Hill. So they basically traded a young. They got a younger version of Clay for one of the picks they got back from Clay. So I mean, we upgraded over Clay because Clay is older. He's still. Not as good as Clay was when he was hit that age, but he is still on the same level, and they got him for less, and he is happy coming into to Golden State. So next up, let's let's just go ahead get all that oil out of the way because that's what has happened so far. So let's go right here. Now, so the biggest player that we're looking at right now is um, Laurie Martin. That is like the best player we're looking at. He's a seven foot guy who can shoot the ball and can defend. I feel like I say that about everybody. They can shoot the ball and defend, but this is exact. Some of the people I say that, but I got no clue. Um, but I think if we can get Warren Martin, we are a contender because he can shoot. He's like the Kevin Durant. Like you have Buddy Hill being a younger version of Clay Thompson. You still got the same step. And then you got Kevin Durant coming in and playing. I mean, that is scary. We've seen what happened when that happened a while back. That's just a storage room, Evan. Where's Russian? In there. Yeah. No, this, this one right here. Ever trying to find the bathroom. Um, but anyways, so if I think if we get Lori Markton, we are a very, very scary team. And that's what I like. I want us to be a great scary team. Um So now let me let me see here. We were thinking about a Jimmy Butler trade, but right now they're looking at DeMar DeRozan. So right here, uh, the Warriors. So this thing says that the Warriors should could shift their focus on um, Zach Levine or Brandon Ingram, but they already had a trade for Zach Levine on the table. And I, if I, I can't remember the exact trade, but if I remember right, it was a okay trade that we should have made. 
So it says Zach Levine or Brandon Ingram. I think Brandon Ingram is – I think that he's a little out of our reach right now. Um, but I think right now the top player that the Dubs could target is Laurie Marketing. And if they do, then we'll make a short on that. We'll make a video. I'll have Evan at my house. I'll have a police escort into town <laughs> because I will be out if they get Laurie Marketing. So, Evan, you remember when Kevin Durant played on the Warriors, right? Did you think he was a good player on the Warriors? So, what if I told you that there was somebody as tall as Kevin Durant and could shoot the ball like Kevin Durant and defend like Kevin Durant? And he had somebody like Steph and Buddy Hield, which is the same version of Clay Thompson. If you had them three together again, would you think they would be as – and you still have Draymond. And it's the same Draymond. Draymond hasn't changed besides punching people, but he's did that <laughs> his whole career. It's, it's just butthole Draymond. It's just – that's exactly who it is. So if, if you have all of them, do you think that they could still win a championship? Probably. I think so too. So like your starting lineup – could be um, Steph, Buddy Hield, Jonathan Kaminga, um, Laurie Markkinen, and Draymond Green. Ooh, baby. Your your bench, which we don't know if they will have Jonathan Kaminga. I, more than likely, they will. So they'll have to give up. They might even give up pods. I didn't say pods in that, did I? You said pods. Did I say pods? You said pods. So, I mean, it's Steph, Buddy Hield, Jonathan Kaminga, Laurie Mark, and Draymond. So, no pods in that. I might have said pods before. Maybe. But, oh, then I didn't say pods. Okay. Uh, but anyways, so they might end up having to give up pods if they get Laurie Mark. And it's just interesting to see. But that right there is would be the starting lineup if they didn't. And then your bench would be whatever else they have left after that trade and then fill out a bunch of free agents. So I think if the Warriors do that soon, the Jazz are either going to say no or there is going to be a trade come. I think it will happen in the next week. And I will be on vacation in the next week. So if it happens, then you guys will be finding out why I'm at the beach, and I guess I'll have to be making YouTube videos at the beach. But, um, yeah, so – uh, thanks for watching this, guys. I figured I'd let you guys out there if, in case you haven't been watching the shorts. I update you guys on every big thing that happens in the NBA. This is the one channel that will do that. Most other channels will make a v big video and not cover some of the lower stuff. I think the worst player I've covered is probably like Isaiah Hardenstein. So we're pretty good, guys. We get most of the big free agents. We get all the big ones and most of the role players out there to you all. So if you want a good channel to watch, to know what's happening in the NBA, then come and subscribe to this one. Turn the notifications on because I'm normally uploading a different video every day. If you haven't, go check out the one thing every team needs to do this offseason. But thanks for watching this video.